Hi, my name is Scott Foster. This project is re-engineering the process for injection molding, testing, and inspection of a molded pipette seal. Here's a picture of a pipette. As you can see, it's a laboratory tool used to dispense measured volumes of liquids. We are concerned with the seal inside this area of the pipette. Now, my engineers tell me they might have chosen a different material if they had been included in the original design. I think that is a clear indication of the importance of design for manufacturing. And that will be an element of our total team approach with this Japanese quality style cooperative system we have in place at the company going forward. Um, the process mapping showed some items which were contributing to the bullwhip effect, which is known um, for as the name for process variation. Here in the current process, we have a couple of items we work in sequence, which we're going to work in parallel. We have the runtime here for the injection mold of 133 hours. We're going to improve that by modifying the mold. We have a curing time of 168 hours. We're going to improve that through annealing. In the improved process you see here, we did combine the loading of material in the mold and um, getting the machine ready to go all into one step, saving some time. Through changing the mold, we lowered the cooling time, lowered the runtime to 100 hours. By the annealing process, we got down to 48 hours on that non-value added step. Using the class resources, we calculated our initial work efficiency analysis at 34.7%, 133.3 value added, 250.95 non-value added. We got the value added down to 100, the non-value added down to 130.45, a 43.4% um, efficiency of the new improved process using the class resources and taking the difference between the original time and the improved time dividing by the original time of the mapped out process gives us a process efficiency improvement factor calculation of 40%. Here's what we did to speed up the injection molding cycle and lower the cooling time. We took the core, essentially made a new core or proposing to make a new core with a slightly bigger diameter proposed to take the existing cavity diameter, burn it out with electrical discharge machining. That will make a larger outer and inner diameter, identical wall size. We can open the mold and kick the part out three seconds faster, lowering our cycle time from 12 seconds to nine seconds in a 40,000 part lot, saving us 33.3 hours. The cavity goes in this section of the mold here. The core goes in this section of the mold here. Plastic comes in here. Mold closes when it opens up, robot arm comes down here, takes the part, lifts it up, moves it, drops it on the conveyor. For a typical plastic part, you have molded in stress. Here in the green shows this level of molded in stress. After annealing, you get a slightly lower molded in stress. That is your curing time sped up by the annealing process. Statistical process control will probably yield us considerable quality improvements and we can document those improvements. Through our experience, we likely will find that a high cooling time and high pressure and a low cooling time at high pressure yield us our greatest variation in dimensional uh, attributes. The high cooling time we will experimentally set at the upper specification limit, the low cooling time at the lower specification limit that make good parts. We'll then start molding. We'll sample our dimensions if about the mean and median, which are hopefully in the same place. We get six standard deviations uh, to the right and minus six standard deviations to the left. Hopefully that distribution will fall within our upper and lower specification limits and we'll have good parts. So we're going to use material selection in our next process, but we're illustrating the value of it here. We're going to have a faster molding process and the improved process, quicker curing times, SPC for greater dependability, all three of those will lower the bull whip, and those are lean manufacturing concepts, and they match our total team approach, Japanese style quality control system in place for improvement in the future. Thank you.